Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scar here, bringing you another creative fun time episode with Scar as we continue to build our amazing modern house. So let's get into today's episode. All right, welcome back. And as before we get going, we got to take a look at Jelly here. I put him down a little blanket for and built a little umbrella for the sun so it didn't get too hot on there, Jelly Cat. All right, so over here, as you can see, we've made a slight modification to the to the facade of the house, and I added a block of quartz just below here. So what was here before was glass. I knocked that out and placed that here. I placed that in all of the windows except the ones above the door. And I know sometimes people get a little bit upset when I make changes and things like that, but that's just the way how I operate when I'm making my structures. You know, if I see somewhere where, ooh, I think we can plus that. I will take advantage of that because I'm never going to be settled with the house and just go, well, it's good enough. If I would have done that, it would have been a little bit better. But no, I didn't. I was lazy and I didn't take the time. But I always try to take the time to make sure every part of the house is perfect. We're always looking to plus the house in every different way. Okay, so flying over here, this is 31 blocks all the way across. So that is a slight adjustment. I have increased the, you know, just push this back just a little bit because of a staircase design that we might try to accomplish. So then, of course, down here it is, what is this over here? 33. So it's 33 from this way all the way down there. So we'll fly on over here. And then this is 15 to here. And this, of course, is where we're going to build our little spot. So 15, 33, 31. All right. So let's get started here. Is that 31? Yeah, that's 31. Okay. So we're going to fly on inside here. And here is our front door. So our front door is here. And we're going to try to spruce up the entryway of the house, kind of find a good design for the entry of the house. Because I like to always build the rest of the house off the entry. You know, you got to make a good statement for your guests as they come into the home. Okay, so first things first, we are going to fly up. So we're going to fly up here to our second story. And up here, what we're going to do is this is going to be kind of the floor for the second story. And I want the windows to come all the way down to the floor. And this will be somewhere around the ceiling for our first floor. So we'll have a unique ceiling and floor for the rest of the house too. So that will be definitely a plus. Something you could put on the flyer. Okay, so first thing we're going to do now is we are going to place this. So we're going to bring this up. One, two, three, four, five. And is this six? I think it's six. Yes, yeah, six, six. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I forgot. Then I want to bring this out here like so. So I'm going to go uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Huh, that was getting really high breath when I can't like that. Okay, get that out like that. We'll bring this out here like so. Bring that down there. Okay, good. So we got that now. So we're starting to build up kind of our entryway. So now what we're going to do... So we're going to go on over here and we're going to kind of map out where we're, I think we're going to place one block there, one block there. We're going to bring this up here. Like so I don't know. I'm just putting these kind of as little placeholder blocks, kind of get an idea how I want to frame this. Hmm. See, I think I'm going to remove this one. So just kind of playing right now, it's just playing, trying to kind of figure out how I want to go here. I get kind of quiet when I'm trying to concentrate. Concentrate. I think that's good. I think that's how we're going to do it. We're going to do it like this. So we're going to go one, two, three from there. So technically, if we go up here like this, and yeah, that should be good. That should be good. So three, technically four. So we're going to bounce on over here. We're going to go one, two, three, four. That should line up perfect. Good, 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 good. And then we're going to go one, two, three, like so, and over here, one, two, three. Very good, very good. Oops, oops, nope, nope, not like that. And like that, there we go. Okay, I like it, I like it. Alrighty, so, so let's just fill, on, fill this all up. All right, welcome back. So all I did was just fill in these sides. So from here, three, and then just filled this all the way up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So up here, I did the same on that side. I'm, I have to cut out a little bit, kind of catch my breath a little bit. I've been I've been a bit sick lately, so 
kind of knocked the wind out of my sails and I'm trying to get back into it. So I have to kind of cut off a little bit every once in a while just to kind of regain my breath. Had a small infection in my J tube, which is my feeding tube, and got me kind of sick. And it was not good, not good, not make me feel well. I was glad I had a few videos kind of stored up for you guys because I wasn't able to make videos for about a week. Kind of stinked. All right, so we got the little staircase. So we got two stairs going up here and a landing right there. So I'm just going to make that for a little step. Okay, so from here, hmm, this is where it gets a little tricky because I'm not exactly sure how I want to do this. Okay, okay, all right, I know I don't want to do it. All right, this might be, this might be a little weird. You guys might be, what are you doing, Scott? What are you doing? And what we're doing is thus. Okay. okay. Fill this in like that. Okay. So when we go up the stairs, to, to kind of compact the stairs a little bit so we're not sticking out way out over there, we're going to cut that stair in half like that. We're still going to be able to go up. We're still going to be able to go down perfectly fine. But it kind of cuts that off and it's able to make it just a little bit steeper. So we're going to do the same up here. Just build that up a little bit so we have some room and cut that off here. Um, we need to get that angle. Come on, come on. There you go. There you go. And then fill that up there. Just knock that out. There we go. And did I do that the same? I feel like I did something wrong. I feel like I did something wrong. Um, no, I guess that's good. That's good. And then we'll build. You know, I'm still not sure if I want to use quartz as the stair blocks, but I want to get them down. And then once I get them down, I will get a better idea. Maybe if we want to come back through here and change them out to something a little bit better, which I don't know. Quartz is a great block. I don't know if there's anything better than quartz. I really don't know. All right. We might want to do it with chocolate wood. Now, for now on, I'm calling this spruce wood. I'm going to, I'm going to make a declaration here. Scott makes a declaration that spruce wood is now referred to as chocolate wood in my videos. Because I'm always calling it either spruce or pine or dark wood, and people get really confused. So I'm going to make it even more confusing. I'm going to call it chocolate wood. So that's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to do it. I guess we could call birch vanilla. That'd be cool. All right. So let's just bring this up here like that before I get any more distracted. So there we go. Look at this. We're starting to get our staircases down pretty well. Pretty well. So we're just going to kind of fill in back here a little bit. There we go, just to get a few blocks down to kind of get an idea how the stairs are going. There we go. Making progress as we go along. Put that up here like so. Yeah, all right, there we go. I think we're doing pretty well. I think we are doing pretty well. So then we'll start up our landing, which will be our second story. So then we'll just, well, I don't need to shift click. I can just fly. Look at that. I really rarely do anything in creative mode. So sometimes I'm like, oh, wait, I can fly. I can fly like a eagle. Okay, there we go. Put that across here. And I think that's starting to look pretty good. I think that's starting to look pretty good. There we go. It's got kind of a base down for our staircase. So you're getting kind of a little bit of an overview here to kind of see how it all kind of fits together. As you can see, look at that. Pretty cool. Look at that. Scar's actually showing you how it all kind of fits together. All right. So give me one second. I'm going to kind of take a little break, catch my breath, and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So one thing I did here is I kind of filled in this spot over here. So here's our landing as our stairs come up here. And then I just kind of filled in the spot up here. So just simple, just filled that in. Nothing too much. So here's another little overview. So I just filled that in like so. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take another row of our bricks here. And we're just going to fill them in like so. So we're just going to fill these guys in like here. And one thing I'm, as we put along here, as we fill these in, I want to go over is one, one thing I like to do is kind of fill in the area like blank. So just kind of blank in the walls, get in the walls. So they're kind of, a, you know, just a blank white wall like this is and just in blank quartz. And then from there, what I like to do is then think, OK, so now that I have something down, wall in so it's not just a blank piece of paper and i'm like well what am i going to draw on the blank piece of paper now that i've got you know a basic structure of lines on it i'm like okay well then i can add like a hat to it and then if we're building a minecraft i'm like okay i can build kind of a decorative design into the wall or i could add some carpet for some color in here or there 
So let's jump down here. And as you can see, now that I have a ceiling kind of built in now, I'm thinking, okay, now I can take some half slabs and decorate the top of the ceiling like this or something like that. And that's kind of how I like to do it. Maybe, will we get to that part in this video? I don't know. But eventually we will, and we're gonna make some pretty cool little designs up in the ceilings and things like that, which will make this house really, really cool. I've gotten some really awesome ideas in the last few minutes as I've been kind of putting along here, trying to figure out how this is all gonna go. I've come up with some pretty good ideas. I've got some pretty darn good ideas. Okay, so that's pretty good, I think, for the entrance for a really basic entrance to the house. As you can see how the staircase comes out here, how it leads into the entryway like so. So not a lot of pizzazz yet, but I think that's starting to look pretty good. I think that is starting to look pretty good. So I think maybe one thing we're gonna do before we wrap this up is put in a floor. I kinda wanna do the floor. So we're gonna get rid of a few of our materials and we're gonna kinda maybe get some, some gray, we're gonna get some cyan wool and we've got our chocolatey wood. And I think we're gonna probably just kinda lay out kind of a border of wood along here. I think that will look nice. So we're just gonna kind of lay this out like so. There we go, nice chocolatey wood across here. There we go. So fill this in. And we'll probably do some type of carpet on the floor. So I think we're gonna run another row of wood across here. There's we go. Fill this in along here. There we go, perfect. There we go, all right, there we go, got that. And now we're going to take the rest of this dirt out. There we go, get that all out of there. And then we need another row of dirt, so let's get all the dirt out of here. Get all this dirt out of here. There we go. Okay, there we go. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to take this cyan wool, and we're gonna go two, jump over here, two, and two. Oh, one. No, I don't like that. Oh, are we off by somewhere along here? Let's just say, there we go. There we go. I cannot take unsymmetrical things. It eats at me. Okay, and then we're just going to put this along here. Is this light? Oh, it is light. I was hoping for a slightly lighter color, but it'll probably go. There we go. There we go. Put that in there like so. And let's take a little look from above. Ooh, I like it. I like that. Looks nice. Okay, so I think we're gonna fill the rest of this in with the gray wool. The gray wool. There we go. Nice, I like that. Okay, and I think we're going to fill this part in here with wood like so. There we go. I like that better. All right, I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I think that adds quite a bit of pizzazz to our floor. All right, and then up here, I can already see this is gonna need something up here. So something like that, I think that looks nice. Something like that, here we go. This is the funnest part of actually adding some of these details like this. And you know what? I'm absolutely inspired to do something right here. Let's see, chisel block, we got that. This is gonna be cool. And now we gotta figure out where we're gonna put the chisel block here, maybe right there. Or here is the question. I'm gonna say it probably should go right there. Okay, I think so. Then we're gonna cut out everything around it like so, like that, and place that right there. All right, yeah, it needs to go one up, but that's what we wanna do. That's what we wanna do. It, it'll look better up here. It'll look a lot better up here. Here we go. And put one right there like so. And then, ooh, what's this down here? Maybe another little design? Who knows? Like so? Ooh, I like that. I really like that. That's really cool. I, I think maybe if we do another chisel block here, it might be a little too much. But if we just place maybe like that. Oh, I like that. That That's cool. What do you guys think? That's epic. Let's do another one on this side. There we go. Perfect, perfect. And then just knock these out along here. Stairs like so. There we go. And how do we do that again? Oh, oh, an additional set down here. An additional set like so. That's awesome. That's really cool because then from the you know the staircase over here, we can kind of see into there. It's really cool. See how we do that? You see that? How we start out with some blank walls and then we're like, 
Let's get out our carving tools and chisel into the wall. All right, just like a block of cheese. You still like to take a spoon and, and carve out faces in the block of cheese. The rest of the family didn't like that very much, but it was fun. Okay, so we're gonna come across here like that. There we go, I like that, I like that a lot. So I'm getting a little bit of breath again, so give me one more second, I'm gonna take a break, and then we'll be finished out this video. All right, welcome back. Sorry about cutting some of this off, I'm just a little bit tired. All right, so over here for our floor, I forgot to add some lights, and I was gonna do a design at the ceiling, but it just kinda clashed with this thing. So what we're gonna do here is, I'm, I, you know, I keep going back and forth trying to decide which one I like better, A or B, so if you guys could help me on that. I might be going with B over here because I, there's something we might do up in the ceiling. I'm just not quite sure. I really like that design, but we might have to settle I hate settling, but if we, you know, do settle for something like this, it's a little bit less fancy, we will be able to do something as cool up on the ceiling. So it's kind of a win-win. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So we just need to redo our carpeting so that we can have some lights in the floor. There we go. Just fill all this in all like so. There we go. So just fill this in like so. See, I was going to do some beacon blocks, but we might do that. Oh, oh. Oh, I forgot you can do that. That's that's really weird. Okay, so I, for, I was going to do some beacon blocks, but they just looked a little bit odd up in the ceiling. All right, there we go. That looks very nice. All right, so we're going to go like this. We're going to run some beams along here. There's, oh, 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 Scar, what are you doing? And then we're going to run them along this side also. There we go, like so. And then we are going to take out some half slabs of chocolate wood and we're going to run them up here. Now, the first thing you're going to see is these shadow glitches appear. And you're probably thinking what I'm thinking. Oh, them shadow glitches. They just never take care of these glitches. But we're going to have we have a way around these things. We have a way around them that might actually look pretty cool. So we're going to fill those in like that. There's we go. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this gray stained clay, which is almost the color of that shadow, and we're going to replace it along there. And I think that looks pretty cool. You don't even realize that, hey, there's a shadow glitch going on up there. But no, it's just a really nice looking gray stained clay. No, no, no. All right, let's fill those in like so. There we go. And then just a row across here. Continuing across like that. There we go. Oh, still, still a few more. Still a few more. There we go. Okay. And look at that. You don't even realize there's a bunch of ugly shadow glitches up there. Isn't that cool? All right. I like that a lot. Okay. So next thing we're going to do is we're just going to run some of these guys across here. There we go. I'm going to show you guys a kind of a cool little design. I don't think I'm going to do it here, but maybe we could do it in a living room of the house or something like that. But I want to show you another cool little design, which I just haven't decided if it looks good here or is it's just maybe maybe a little too much. And I'm going to just go over here and play oop, like that. Isn't that kind of cool? So you place that in here like that. It might be a little much, a little busy in here with that design. Well, we'll think about it. But for now, I'm just going to cover them up for now like that. But it looks really cool. So if you're looking to do something a little different, add that, or you also can go in here and try out this. So stick that up there like that. That looks actually kind of cool too. Alrighty, so let's see. I think that looks pretty good for our entrance. So let's head over by our staircases. You got the little design sticking out over there. Looks really awesome. And for here, we can just kind of come across here like that. We could do some shelves maybe right along here. Like that, there we go. These could be just little design shelves that go up there like that. And run our final band across there. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. Definitely let me know which one you guys like better. That one or this one. So I guess that was B and that was A. All right, guys. Well, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be very much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to have a super awesome day. So one thing I was thinking, we could also do a separate color in here just to make it, you know, uh, contrast against the rest of the house. So maybe like a green or something a little bit lighter maybe in here as this color that sticks out between the stairs. I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. I won't get your guys' opinion on that.